Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing part two of my three-part series. And today we are going to be escaping to the beach. So I'm going to be talking about fragrances that make me think of the beach or they give off beach vibes. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on all things girly. If you like that, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here with me today and I appreciate all of the love and the support. With that said, let's get into today's video. All right guys, so I chose the worst day to film this video because they are mowing the lawn outside and hopefully they're gonna be done quickly. But I just wanna get started with these beach fragrances. So I want to talk about fragrances that just give off beach vibes and I think I'm giving beach vibes today as well. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about, I wanna get it out of the way because it is a discontinued fragrance but maybe it can be found in places like ebay or mercari so i'm still going to mention it but it's not one that is easy to get your hands on and this is kkw body 2 and this is so beautiful i think i prefer this one over tom ford soleil blanc but they do have very very similar notes and very similar vibes so this fragrance has a ton of coconut. It has just very tropical vibes, very beachy vibes. It has very tropical flowers and it's just beautiful. This makes me think of like the beach, but like the beach at like a resort. So you're staying somewhere really, really nice. The beach is just super clean. The sand is just super soft and just very clean. The water is see-through. You're just like living your life and you have like the most pretty bathing suit on with some accessories, a beach hat. If I was to picture this fragrance, that's what I would imagine is just a woman who is very put together, but she's at the beach. It gives off that beachy vibe and I do get a little bit of like that suntan vibe, but what I like from this one is that it's very balanced. So other fragrances either give me too much florals or too much coconut or too much sunscreen. This one, everything is kind of like balanced and smooth and blended together so well. I wish that they would bring back this fragrance because I love the bottle, I love the scent and once I run out of this perfume, I'm really going to miss it. So just to give you like a few notes that this has, there's coconut nectar in here. There's neroli, which sometimes neroli bothers me. It does not bother me in here. There's jasmine, orange blossom, ylang ylang, manoi oil, coconut milk, musk. It's just such a beautiful fragrance. And I always think of the beach or like a resort with a beach view so beautiful this is kkw body 2. now moving on to the second fragrance this is the fragrance that body 2 kind of reminds me of and this is tom ford soleil blanc and you cannot deny that this fragrance has beach vibes i feel like i pick up like that sunscreen in there only thing with this one is that i do pick up more of the white florals and some days it's a little bit hard for me to wear this one but it's still a beautiful fragrance. There's pistachio in here. There's coconut in here. There's cardamom, which I actually do pick up the cardamom and I love the touch that it gives it. Yeah, I pick up the cardamom like instantly. And on my skin, I do pick up the pistachio a little bit more than on the test strip. But this is definitely a beach, like a beachy vacation type of scent. This one is definitely stronger than the KKW Body 2. So it does, I think, project a little bit more and it is a little bit stronger, but they both give off the same vibes. And this is just a beautiful fragrance for summertime, for the beach, for vacation, beautiful for that. Next up, we have Replica's Beach Walk. Now this one is so beautiful. I feel like it was done so right. You definitely pick up like these sunscreen vibes in here, which some people might find it off-putting, but I really, really like how even though you get that sunscreen vibe, there's a little bit more to this fragrance. It's sexy to me. 
So when it opens up, you get like a blast of pink pepper. You get a bright opening. There's citrus in the opening. And then very quickly, I pick up on the ylang ylang and it gives it like this very tropical vibe. But what I love about this one is that even though you have that coconut, you have that sunscreen kind of touch to it, but then that woody base that it has, it's so beautiful. And it is just perfect for summer, perfect for the beach, perfect to go like on a boat or to a resort or anything like that this is beautiful next up i'm going to be talking about alien goddess and i love this bottle so much it's so beautiful and it gives off beach vibes just from looking at the bottle and this one to me is a more creamy coconut it's a little bit softer it doesn't really give off that sunscreen vibe to me this one's sweeter this one for some reason makes me think of i've said it in other videos but i just picture the sand i picture the beach laying out by the beach and getting a tan and this just adds sweetness and it's coconut so it's very appropriate for the beach but this one's definitely more milky more creamy and this opens up with coconut water and bergamot and that is my favorite part of this fragrance because i love coconut and bergamot mixed together it's one of my favorite note combinations the vanilla in here is beautiful this fragrance just makes me think of a sunny day at the beach as well so all of these fragrances remind me of the beach so i need to stop saying the same thing but <laughs> But you get the point that these are just the ultimate beach fragrances. Now, this one always amazes me how it is the perfect summer fragrance. But this is a gourmand scent. Like, it is the ultimate gourmand scent. But then somehow it gets you in the mood to go to the beach, to go out on like a summer day. And this is Sor de Janeiro Cherosa 62. This fragrance just, it's perfection and it makes me think of the beach it makes me think of summer it makes me think of really good memories especially because i took it with me on vacation so now i have a lot of memories with this fragrance this has pistachio it has almond as you can see i really like pistachio and fragrances but you can really smell it in this one it's sweet it's a little thick but somehow it still works in hot weather you don't want to overdo it if you're going to the beach or you're going to be around the beach but a couple sprays of this who am i kidding a couple sprays is nothing for us fragrance lovers but maybe like just don't go crazy with it because then it could get a little bit too thick but if you spray it you know a little bit on your clothing a little bit like around your hair you're going to have the most intoxicating scent and it just goes perfect with summer and the beach i always mention the pistachio because it's one of the notes that i love and the caramel but it also has almond it has vanilla it has salt and it does not act funny with my skin so it actually smells really really good so it's one of the few fragrances with salt that agrees with my skin there's sandalwood in here heliotrope jasmine it's just really beautiful notes all combined into one fragrance and they did an amazing job with this perfume all right so next beachy fragrance is dolce and gabbana light blue sun so for my ocean video you guys noticed that all of the bottles were blue because they're very aquatic it just reminds me of ocean water and in this video everything is kind of like golden amber color so i feel like there's like a pattern with these fragrances and usually when you look at the bottle you can almost know what to expect so this one right here is just so beautiful it's one of the few light blues that i like because dolce gabbana light blue i'm just i feel like it's gotten to the point where i'm kind of over it i just feel like a few years ago it was all that i smelled everywhere so i don't consider it a fragrance that i love it doesn't smell bad or anything but it's just not one of my favorites but this one I love it so this one has coconut nectar there's lemon you have the granny smith apple which i do love there's ozonic notes frangipani you have bourbon vanilla you have cedar ambergris it is just i did take this last year to a beach house that we stayed in and what i did was i layered it with a coconut lotion i love bath and body works coconut lotions and if they have a little bit of lime in there even better and it's going to make this stand out even more this is light this is airy this is refreshing so this is the type of fragrance that you can wear to the beach and you're going to smell so good and you're not going to smell too much 
it's not going to smell like you're trying too hard it is just like the perfect fragrance if you're like me and as soon as you get to the beach you jump into the water and you're like a fish then i feel like maybe even taking something like this with you and while you're laying out or while you're getting some sun this is just so perfect it makes you feel very refreshed perfect for the beach it makes me think of like a very refreshing drink with like ice and there's like coconut in there and lime and that's just what it makes me think of very breezy type of scent kind of like the beach air and it's beautiful i love it so so much so that is dolce and gabbana light blue sun up next i have the last daytime beachy fragrance and this is another one that's super refreshing it just makes me think of being like in a hammock i'm having a drink there's a really beautiful breeze kind of like here in puerto rico a lot of the beaches so you have like regular beaches where it's literally just sand the sun and the water but a lot of beaches here in puerto rico have the sand the water and then you have a lot of like shade and palm trees and like trees surrounding you so you do get like this like breeze and it's just so relaxing when you have a hammock and you're just relaxing by the beach for some reason this makes me think of that and this is skylark coconut cove so this one is like a very ref this one is super refreshing to me it's almost as if it has like ice of how refreshing this is this is perfect for a hot day it literally smells cold and i smell coconut but it's like a coconut water it's very thin it's not like a super sweet coconut usually when you smell coconut and fragrances they really make it super sweet this one is very natural it's a thinner coconut and then it opens up with cardamom and lemon and also bergamot so i think that's where that big brightness comes in and a little bit of like a spice touch to it this is so good this has ambroxan it also has gardenia which i despise gardenia but in here i don't pick it up and it's just beautiful it smells like a coconut drink that's what it reminds me of and it's perfect for the beach next up i'm going to talk about two fragrances that make me think of the beach but more towards the evening when the sun is setting the sky it's just like all types of colors like orange and yellow and purple and blue just all of the different phases while the sun is setting i think of with this and i feel like i also picture like walking down a boardwalk by the beach or maybe like a restaurant that's right next to the beach and you're having a dinner that's kind of what these two make me think of so the first one is nest sunkissed hibiscus and this is another beautiful beachy fragrance perfect for summertime this one also has tropical flowers it has coconut there's amber in here which sometimes amber can bother me it does not bother me in this fragrance there's gardenia in here as well which is very shocking i'm gonna have to do like a gardenia fragrances that work for me in case some of you guys are like me and you cannot stand gardenia it works in here it is like this warm kind of like almost mysterious coconut type of fragrance it's coconut but it's not that obvious coconut i don't get sunscreen vibes from this one so that's why i say that it kind of makes me think more of like nighttime or the evening after you got your tan already after you showered after you had your fun at the beach but you're still having a dinner right next to the ocean this is perfection for that and the last one that i get the same vibes with is kayali's utopia vanilla coco and here is the gorgeous bottle for this one i just love this bottle so much it's so unique so beautiful i love that there is a color to the bottle but you can see how much you have left this one i love to layer with coconut body creams mm. and this one is very different it's so good i get the florals in this one and then i get the coconut but the florals aren't too screechy or anything like that they're very beautiful and this one also has gardenia I'm in shock right now because I'm looking at the notes for them and I didn't know that I have quite a few fragrances with gardenia in them and I don't pick up that super sharp scent that gardenia gives off. And this one I also picture like a summer dress walking next to the beach, it's dark. Or you can also have like a tight short dress and some hoops, some really nice makeup. This is perfect for that. I feel like this is like a summer dinner type of fragrance, like perfect to go have dinner somewhere where you're sitting outside of the restaurant 
by the beach perfect for that so that is what i think of with this one and it's definitely very different like all of these fragrances have some similarities because they remind me of the beach they have that beachy vibe but utopia is very unique it's kind of like it stands on its own so it can be in that group but then it also shines in a different way it's so beautiful i love this one so that is Kayali's utopia so that brings me to the end of today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i will be filming part three hopefully tomorrow i have been doing a lot of filming this week because on monday i'm going to get two teeth extracted and i'm actually very nervous but that is kind of like the last thing that i need to do just to get everything with the braces kind of like in order so they did put the braces on first but they left those two teeth without any brackets or anything so i could just get them extracted and that is just to create space so that my teeth can straighten out even better so i'm very nervous about that but i don't know how long it's gonna take me to kind of feel back to normal so i just wanted to film as many videos as i could so that i have everything done and then i could just take a few days to relax and let myself heal so thank you so much for being here with me today comment down below any fragrances that remind you of the beach or that they give you those beachy vibes I can't wait to talk to you guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video.